Search and rescue efforts have been stopped at noon today as no more bodies were found at the site of the bus crash in Genting Highlands on Wednesday. Bentong Police Deputy Chief DSP1 Asharuddin Wan Ismail says the search team which resumed the operation this morning managed to recover identification documents and valuables from the wreckage. It was the worst road crash in the country's history. 37 people were killed and 16 others injured after the bus went out of control at kilometre 3.5 of Jalan Genting Highlands and rammed a road barrier and plunged into the ravine. There were 53 passengers on board the bus at the time of the incident. The site where the wrecked bus lay was said to be a gory one. A total of 456 personnel from various agencies, including the Fire and Rescue Department, the Police and Smart and Civil Defence Department took part in the operation to rescue the survivors and extricate bodies. But as authorities announced they had ceased rescue operations after all the passengers from the ill-fated bus had been accounted for, more and more people are coming forward seeing their family members are still missing. Dia dia tak ada balik rumah, tak dapat kontak. Kami sudah merisau lah. Uh, so kami semua sudah cari di Genting, uh, cari uh, tolong kawan untuk cari dia di Genting, tapi tak dapat juga. Ya tahu. Ya pergi berjalan, jemput jemput dia melihat teman wanita turun. Teman hmm. wanita ada dalam bas. Dia ada dalam bas juga. Teman wanita selamat. Dua-dua tak. Dua-dua tak ada. Meanwhile, Jamhari P is also looking for his colleague who is believed to be a passenger of the ill-fated bus. Dalam pukul 3, kita tahu pasal kita kerja kan. Kita kerja, kita dapat tahu daripada orang-orang ramai. Jadi kita balik kongsi ini semua sudah pada sibuk semua kawan-kawan. Tunggu-tunggu sampai pukul 2 pagi, 3 pagi tak ada, kita risau lah. Kita risau, kita terpaksa kita tengok sini lah. Ini macam... Sudah sudah tapi saya cam dekat video tadi tak ada. Tapi mungkin saya mau tengok lain hospital Sungai Buloh ke Selayang ke apa ini macam. Meanwhile, the Malaysian Institute of Road Safety have deployed a remote-controlled hexacopter equipped with a high-definition camera to assess the scene. Officials from both Myros and the Road Safety Department are currently at the scene to get a clearer picture of how the crash occurred. A check with the RTD showed the bus was blacklisted. Meanwhile, doctors are striving to save the lives of victims who survived the bus crash. 16 survivors were admitted to various hospitals on Wednesday, three of whom are still in the emergency room. Kuala Lumpur Hospital Senior Critical Care Consultant Dr. S. J. Indran says the victims have been sent to where they can best be treated. And a standard operating procedure would be to ensure that those people who are alive are brought to the most definitive area for management, meaning that if they're very critically ill, they'll be brought either to HKL or Sungai Bulo because this is where we have the expertise to treat them. Huh? As for those who perished in the accident, he says it's going to be difficult to identify some of them. And also you will understand that in this kind of event, when an accident occurs and multiple people get involved, many of them do not have any form of identification on them. That becomes a big problem because we then have to try and identify who these people are. Some of them, their clothes have been torn, some of them, their passports are not on them or the ICs are not on them. It becomes very difficult. Families and loved ones have come forward to identify the dead.